All right, this is going to go for all iPhones, iPods, as well as iPads. So you're basically getting an error message that says, cannot connect to iTunes Store or App Store. I'm going to give you three possible solutions that should work for most of you, okay? So first thing is this. You want to go into settings here. And then once you're in settings, what you want to do is you want to scroll down, go to general, and then you want to go to date and time. Tap on date and time. Now you need to make sure that you are set automatically, okay? So make sure you toggle this on just like this and then go ahead and try to open up your app store. Now if that doesn't work, we're gonna go back into settings here. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to where it says cellular. Yours may say mobile data. Simply tap on that and then we're gonna scroll down here and you can see where it says here, it says use cellular data for, look for app store. Everything is in alphabetical order here. Okay, you wanna make sure that this is toggled on. Now go ahead and try to get into your app store. If you can't, we're gonna to go to the last main possible solution, okay? And that would be to basically reset your network settings. I'm not talking about resetting or doing a factory reset. This is just, this is just to reset your network settings. Okay, so you simply go into your settings here, go to general, scroll all the way down, Tap on reset here. Now remember, this is very important, okay? It's reset network settings. It is not reset all settings or erase all content and settings. It is reset network settings. I'm gonna tap on that. Then you wanna type in your passcode here. And it says here, it says, this will delete all network settings, returning them to factory defaults. So let me go ahead and click on reset network settings. Now this isn't going to delete any photos or documents or videos. This is simply resetting your network settings. Basically, once the phone boots back up, you will have to re-enter all of your Wi-Fi passwords. And that's pretty much the uh, big, th um, pretty much the uh, three biggest solutions for an issue like this. But there's still like several more. Like you can change your DNS. You can do a factory reset. Anyways, if you still have problems, comment below. If this video did help you, please subscribe, share, like. All right? Thanks. Bye.